Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to cook a uh, pork adobo, and the ingredients of my pork adobo are onion, uh, soy sauce, um, ginger, and garlic. So this is an elongo style and I cook it without an oil. So let's go guys. We will watch how I cook without oil. See you and hope you are subscribed my channel. This is MK, the beautiful MK saying thank you and enjoy watching my new dish. This is a young pork and uh, actually this is already pork chop but I says I will make an adobo that kind of very different so I use uh, calamansi or lemon uh, being as one of the ingredients of my uh, pork adobo. Pork adobo is commonly kind of dish here in the Philippines that people are truly love always uh, eating adobo because you know uh, very tasty and uh, you know the juices of the meat is truly goes to the uh, uh, sticky sauce and it makes your you know its finger looking good if you can taste it. That is calamansi and I use that one of my ingredients for my adobo. So guys, uh, we will taste if what is the, the taste of a lemon adobo. And that one is a sweaty. Yeah, I use that for make a color of the meat. So I just only soak into a water and uh, set aside for a while. So what I did, I put in the meat inside of the pan and uh, mix together with all the ingredients and uh, yeah, sugar, uh, no it has no sugar, I didn't put any sugar in that um, dish. I use uh, salt, soy sauce, uh, ginger, uh, onion and garlic and then I mix it together and um, put uh, on the fire if you notice I didn't use any oil for the, the dish because I want it to become a healthy kind of adobo 
because I bring my oven at the Sari Sari store so what I did uh, we use uh, firewood for cooking our food over here in our home uh, and besides we can save some money using with this so we use uh, sometimes we use wood sometimes we use the you know the bamboo kind of you know the logs of bamboos and uh, that's the way I started the fire on our stove and this our stove is made of uh, iron and uh, what we did for that uh, kind of uh, stove is we welder or yes we welding the iron and cut something like that this is very common here in our place because it's easy for you to put in all kind of uh, wood so that you can fire and cook your food using uh, sometimes using kind of woods or uh, bamboo you know this is my dirty kitchen and uh, at the back of the this uh, dirty kitchen I mean in front of the dirty kitchen is our uh, water pump where the source of water is come it's came from that area so I use uh, paper to start the fire on my something like bonfire there you go I put on the pan with meats and cover with the uh, the cover of the I don't know it's not skillet we use the cover of the pot that one so here in the Philippines the material that we use for our cooking utensils is aluminum and uh, I don't know is this alloy I, I don't know what kind of metal is this so this is set my kitchen my dirty kitchen that's my water pump back of my home I didn't get the finished rendering at the back of my home because we don't have any budget at all there you go guys that's already the meat that uh, I have right now and what is the best for this kind of dish is the you know the fats with the, uh, you know the the very nice meat so there you go and this portion I wash my hand because I wanted to uh, you know uh, smash the aswati which is the one that I use for make it the, the color of the meats while I am cooking so I need to wash it well pretty well my hand uh, to make it uh, my dish very clean too so here we go guys uh, I am here at my dirty kitchen. This dirty kitchen is made of bamboos. So anytime or I mean anywhere you can uh, throw away the water that you have. And there you go. This is the ashweti. The ashweti is something like color orange. And this is this ashweti. I we just only pick it up here at our backyard and this is the one that we use to make the color of the meats where we are cooking 